it's all time and it is super cozy today because it is raining right now and so i'm a little bit sad that i just have a cold beverage with me and not a hot tea to drink with you but anyways let's start i acquired some new perfumes which i'm absolutely in love with and then I received some as well. So what should we start with? Let us start with this one, which is called Eclat d'Arpege Sheer by L'Envant. And I do know the original, but just a new version. And I think from what I can remember, it smells good, but it was really weak. And so I never had my attention on it. And this is <laughs> the sheer one. So let's test it out. I haven't tested it out yet. This is nice. It is very clean and fresh and definitely very floral. And it smells more intense than the original one, in my opinion. I tested the original so many times, but I couldn't really smell anything at all. It was such a quiet skin scent but this one i could definitely smell and it's right up my alley because the florals are not those heady white florals it's just a bouquet of flowers maybe some yellow flowers maybe some white florals in it but very mixed up well together with a certain freshness to it really really fresh could easily be in my fresh out of the shower video that i just filmed and i adore the bottle it looks so beautiful in the camera as well it's nice i'm curious to know what the longevity will be like but let's see what the notes are so it's floral fruity fresh oh it has dragon fruit I don't know if I know what dragon fruit smells like because the fruit itself doesn't really have a lot of flavor in my opinion. It has lotus leaf. I love the note of lotus. It gives this aquatic aspect to a scent. And it has peonies. I know why I like it now. I love the note of peony. It has jasmine, lily of the valley, and the base is musk, ember, and cedar wood. Yeah, it's very, very nice. Nothing groundbreaking, but something like a staple in your collection if you want something like an easy grab. Then I was so excited when I received a package from Joe Malone because it had English pear and freesia in it. And this was one of my absolute signatures for a long time. And so many of my friends bought it because I recommended it. It's so beautiful. It's one of the most beautiful pear scents out there. Mm, it's so juicy, it's like a very fresh, juicy, sweet pear with a lot of freshness and some greenness from the freesia, definitely floral. It's so, it's happy and fun, but elegant and sophisticated at the same time, which makes it such a perfect scent. I love the scent so much. I also love the new packaging. I adore it. It's so chic. Only thing with the scent is you definitely have to overspray to make it last. And then I received a Travel Cologne Trio Blossoms, the Bloss from the Blossoms line. I love testing out fragrances like that. And I also adore those cute small bottles from Jo Malone. I have quite a collection <laughs> and in here we have star magnolia osmanthus blossom and nashi blossom and the nashi blossom i think i heard the most from and i did test them out already and they were all really nice i don't think there's any joe malone scent that i do not like they have a certain dna which is always quite fresh and airy and uplifting and that's exactly what I like so I think that's why I always resonate with their scents and this Nashi pear is a pear as well in here I don't really get a pear note it's not really sweet it's very green and fresh definitely reminds me of English pear and freesia but this one is so much more sweet and fun this is much more sophisticated elegant perfect for the office 
it's nice then we have osmanthus blossom so it could be quite fruity let's see yeah it is quite sweet it has like a spicy powdery aspect to it as well and then some creamy peachy accord and then also quite green floral and fresh so this is more complex i like it and you know what now i detect a tea note and i don't think any tea is listed it's very complex at first i was like okay it's like peachy but then it had some spiciness and some other aspects to it i have to test it on my skin maybe today after this video but so far so good i like it and lastly star magnolia magnolia is one of my absolute favorite notes in perfume so i was really excited to test this out but it is actually my least favorite of the three i like all of them it's just that the other ones are more what i tend to wear this is a heavy magnolia almost leaning in like a white floral direction when it comes to the weight like the weight of the flower is it's heavy it's like a heavy floral scent and i think there's some balance lacking that i have in the other two so it's nice i would wear it but i would wear the other ones far more then we have a perfume from lush i don't know if you know but lush does have perfumes and body mists in their arsenal and they like a lot of them and they came up with a barbie x lush scent so I have not seen the movie because I don't know the last time I was in a cinema, but um, I want to watch the movie. But this is a Barbie scent. It does remind me a little bit of Ariana. Let me see what's inside of here. So we have almonds, oranges and tonka bean here. You can definitely smell all of those notes. It's very fruity and sweet and citrusy. They're like a sweet citrus and my mouth is watering because it does remind me of an arabic dessert with nuts and some floral waters inside of it it's super yummy it's super nice and it is more deep than i would have thought a barbie scent to be which is why i can see myself wearing it it definitely has the lush dna and don't ask me what it is because i don't know I don't know it's just you'd know it is from Lush but it's nice if you like something like Oriana with added almonds like it's very nutty and some freshness try this one out onto the scents I bought so the first one I bought during my vacation is Mansera Melody of the Sun and this is my first Mansera and I immediately fell in love when I smelled it for the first time in the store. The lady knows us by now and she was like, I think you're gonna like it. And like, mm, I don't know, because Mansera is known for their very oriental, deep, strong perfumes. But this is not. This is a tea scent. And I'm not sure if you've seen me talk about this before, because I've had it for um, quite a few weeks. But this is in the family of my beloved Armani Te Yulong or Palm Trees Please by Juicy Couture. If you mix those up, you would get something like this, but it has a better performance than both of those. Still, it's not a typical Mansara performance. This is not gonna hold on you for 48 hours. It's more quiet than that, but still when it comes to tea scents, it has quite a good performance. It seems very hard to get tea to smell for a long time on your skin. Anyway, this is spritzy, like fresh and uplifting tea-like. It's a slightly sweetened green tea with some mm, mate and matcha and also black tea aspects in it so it's quite interesting to me definitely citrusy and i love it now hear me out with the next scent i 
filmed a, not a first impressions, but I filmed a review on the Kayali wedding collection. And the thing is, I loved both of those scents, liked, liked a lot. But for me, I was so confused because all of the people kept saying it's the perfect wedding scent. And in my head, both of them were not what I would expect out of a wedding scent. Both of them were very cozy and creamy and fluffy and something I would love to wear during fall and winter time to be cozy but not something on a grand day like your wedding day and a lot of people or I think the majority of people is getting married during spring and summer and I just didn't see those scents in those kinds of climate but after I filmed the video I did wear those samples for a few more times and I fell in love with the Silk Santal for bedtime. I bought myself the Kayali The Wedding Silk Santal 36. I think you've seen this bottle a lot and this is actually my first full bottle of any Kayali perfumes which says a lot. I was hesitating. I was thinking about either getting the small one or this one, but then I thought I think I will wear it as a bedtime scent pretty much every night and then the 10 milliliters will be empty two weeks later. So that's why I bought the 50 milliliters and I have worn it pretty much almost every single night since I received it. So now I can tell you something about the full bottle experience. I love the shape, like the diamond shape, the cap, it's like really substantial and heavy. Uh, same goes with the bottle, it's like a frosted glass. I love that they put the top notes, like the main notes, on the bottle and also on the packaging here. I'm not the biggest fan of the rainstone aesthetic but still the juice itself looks beautiful and the scent oh my god still i wouldn't wear it as my wedding perfume i love something more fresh and uplifting and with more projection than this one but as a bedtime scent as something for everyday wear for fall and winter time if you want something cozy if you love the note of vanilla if you maybe like vanilla from Kayali but you didn't like the performance or maybe it lacked a little bit of depth then I would highly suggest getting this one while they still have it because I do think it is a limited edition but this is just so so delicious smelling i love the vanilla from kayali but oh my god i'm gonna sneeze i don't know what's in here but the vanilla in the kayali sense makes me sneeze every time the vanilla um is worse but still this one makes me sneeze every second time or so but the vanilla one for me as well is just something that i wear uh, for bedtime or as a base. It is not, I don't know how to say it, but something's lacking so that I would wear it every single day all year round, if you know what I mean. And also what I do not like is the performance. For me on my skin, the vanilla one is a perfect bed scent because I can smell it maybe for like one to two hours and then it's gone on my skin. This one, however, doesn't have the biggest sillage it's not a beast but it does say i think it's an intense version and the longevity is long on my skin perfumes do not tend to last for a long time and this one if i spray it in the morning i can definitely also smell it on my skin in the evening so it holds up for the whole day and if you've never heard of it and you want to know the main notes it has sparkling champagne, white freesia, pink praline, lush nectarine, sandalwood and sugared musk. What I love about this is the opening is 
absolutely beautiful because you have this almost like brown sugar vanilla in the background but then you have a nectarine that you dropped into a sparkling wine so a champagne which makes this perfume a little bit more fresh and exciting than just a vanilla scent the fruity aspect goes down quite a bit on my skin and then you're left with the brown sugar or vanilla aspect but still it's just so cozy and creamy and comforting and just beautiful so i'm very much in love with this scent and because i wear it almost every single night i am thinking about getting a backup <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine? And then we have quite a few scents by Lancôme. I received a Lancôme Parfum parcel with a lot of their flankers from Idol. First up, we have Idol Le Parfum. And I don't know, but if I search this version, I cannot seem to find a Le Parfum version. So I don't know if I'm the first person to smell it or what. Oh, but you know what? It has uh, like a description of the scent on the back, which is very nice. So it says, Le Parfum is a soft skin scent made in the future. Okay. Uh, with spotless jasmine, absolute radical rose essence and clean chypre accord. A more eco-friendly fragrance with sustainably sourced ingredients and refillable bottle. So let's test it out. I have to tell you, I am a big fan of the Idol range. I love the original. I adore the Aura version, but this smells like a more deep version of the original Idol. It doesn't lean into a completely different direction like the Aura, for example, to me smells very different. This is just more dense and a little bit more Deep. I have to test it on my skin, but if you love Idol and you maybe do not like the performance, you want something more long lasting, maybe you have to try the Le Parfum out once it's out. Then we have Idol L'eau de Parfum Nectar. I don't think this one is new, it's just new to me. And on here it says, our first addictive new gourmand scent with a floral blast of deliciousness, puffed rose accord. What is a puffed rose? Popcorn accord and bourbon vanilla infusion. That sounds incredible. I know a lot of people love this flanker. So let's see. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is definitely more sweet and gourmand than the original. All idols, I think, are rose scents. And you can definitely detect the rose on all of them. The idol original is a little bit more fresh and uplifting, easy to wear, like a safe blind buy. The Aura has this salty vanilla vibe to it, which is also quite gourmand actually. And then this one is more fruity sweet. The other one is more dessert-like almost. This one is more fruity. It's like a fruit, fruity rose with some definite creaminess to it or milkiness. Yeah, I like it. So these were all of the new perfumes in my collection. Let me know if you've tried any of those. What was the last perfume you bought? Do you like it? Do you wear it every single day? Do I have to test it out myself? And I hope to see you in my next video. Bye bye.